Innovation to me, and I probably have a higher bar for innovation probably than, than most, means something that's truly disruptive, a true change in how the world works. My name is Colin Hill. I am the CEO and co-founder of GNS Healthcare, a leading big data analytics company focused on personalized medicine in the healthcare space. I didn't start the company just for scientific curiosity, although that's a big part of it. But ultimately, what made this all make sense was the chance to change the future, to change outcomes, and not just to have to accept what's going on. You know, I'm not the first person to have a loved one, you know, get cancer and have a disease like that. But it was ultimately, you know, reasons like that that had a big influence in, in the reason for starting GNS Healthcare back 13 years ago was the ability to have an impact in the lives of real people and friends and family. There was a uh, female professor at Cornell. She was the first uh, female professor of physics at Cornell, Barbara Cooper, who I did research with when I was at Cornell. And she, at age 41, non-smoker, she was diagnosed with uh, lung cancer. She had a young child and a young husband. And that had a really big impact on me. This was around the time we were formulating the idea for GNS Healthcare. At the beginning, we thought we would focus on Alzheimer's or something like that. And what was really impactful was after Barb died, about a year and a half, two years after she was diagnosed, was just realizing that here this woman was, surrounded by some of the smartest people on the planet. We had several Nobel Prize winners on the same floor as, as Barb and, and the, the small grad student office that I shared. And I remember being at her funeral, just seeing you know no Nobel Prize winner after Nobel Prize winner walk by and thinking, well, geez, we're physicists. We know how to understand things and unravel things and, and figure out how complex systems work. Why, with all of the progress we've made in science and physics in particular, how come we can't solve this? How come we can't unravel the underlying genetic circuitry of diseases like cancer? And I just did not accept that we couldn't. I did not accept the, the concept that, well, these systems are too complex or God works in mysterious ways or things like that. And so, you know, for me, what we do at GNS Healthcare is very personal. Clinical trials are too slow, they're too expensive, they're too artificial to be the only source of evidence in 21st century medicine and healthcare. We're at a stage where we simply can't afford to not have the answers of what treatments work and for which individuals. And so we believe that there's an opportunity and that the technology exists today to leverage the data that comes from every treatment across the country, whether contained in electronic medical records or longitudinal claims or patient registries, but enough data on each patient such that advanced machine learning algorithms running on cloud-based supercomputers can now start to unravel that ultimate question that every patient cares about when they get sick. What is the best treatment for me right now? I do not want to know what just standard of care is. This is not Star Trek. It is not 10 years, 100 years out. This is in the near term. Instead of putting patients through all this pain and suffering, all this wasted money, let's use technology to do something more important. Let's turn technology to the problems that matter the most uh, today. That is healthcare and that is delivering on the promise of personalized medicine. Thank you.